Welcome to Discovering History. In today's episode, we will delve into the Russian Revolution and uncover how the Russian Revolutions completely transformed Russia's government, society, social classes, and relationships with other countries. The February and October Revolutions of 1917 resulted from an accumulation of internal conflict in the Russian government and the consequences of Russia's involvement in World War I. The Russian Revolution led to drastic changes in Russia's government and economy and had a major impact on the course of World War I. The allied country of Russia withdrew from the war after this crucial revolution and signed the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, giving much land to the Central Powers. While the Russian Revolution broke out in 1917, a buildup of public unrest had been prominent for almost a century prior due to the harsh reign of Tsars. Conspiracies and revolutionary moments were formed to defeat and conquer the government. To illustrate, in 1825, army officers rebelled and revolutionaries, infuriated by the lack of change in Russian government, murdered Alexander II, an amelioration-oriented Tsar. Russia was spiraling towards full-blown revolution. Tensions grew between the civilians and the Tsars, the powers of Russia. Alexander II, the father of Alexander III, was murdered, and Alexander III responded by oppressing the people, in no way benefiting their public opinion. After Alexander II, Alexander III gained power in Russia in 1881. He used drastic measures to seize any form of revolution and followed in his grandfather's footsteps by continuing to lead Russia as an autocratic country. Anyone that dared not to abide by the Russification policy was casted out. Severe measures were taken to eliminate revolutionaries. Public unrest increased in Russia because political organizations lost their power due to the uprisings of reforms brought by Tsar Alexander III. Tsarist autocracy fired up the laborers, peasants, intellectuals, and students. In addition to new reforms, the policy of Russification was implemented by Nicholas II, creating an environment of disorder because according to the policy, only Russian language and Catholic religion were permitted under Russian domination. The Russian language was introduced amongst non-Russian regions, such as the Polish. Besides the restriction of religion and language, the social system created an imbalanced society between the rich and the poor. No class was satisfied with their placement nor their income. As Nicholas II, son of Alexander III, came to power after his father's death in 1894, his control was very tenuous, as the people were dissatisfied with their current oppressive line of rulers. This buildup of civilian turmoil and the scarcity of food eventually led to the abdication of Nicholas II. Guards opened fire at the workers and families who approached the Tsar's winter's palace with a petition to ask for freedom, better working conditions, and an elected national legislature on January 22, 1905. Hundreds died and over a thousand were injured on this tragic day that came to be known as Bloody Sunday. This initiated widespread strikes and violence, which reluctantly prompted Nicholas to establish Russia's first parliament, the Duma. He made this parliament to make Russia a constitutional monarchy, like Britain, which he ended ten weeks later because of his reluctance to share power. In 1905, Marxism took footing in the hearts of some Russians, the conservative revolutionary Mensheviks and the radical Bolsheviks, who would do anything for change. Many laborers wanted to form a Marxist proletariat, which is a worker dictatorship. The major leader of the Bolsheviks was Vladimir Ilyich Yulianov, who was also known as Lenin. World War I seems to be the root of all problems. Russia's involvement in World War I proved to be extremely problematic and was the main cause of the February Revolution. It all traces back to when the heir to the throne, Archduke Franz I, Ferdinand of Austria, and his wife were assassinated by Serbian nationalists on June 28, 1914 in Sarajevo, Bosnia. This prominent event in history sparked World War I and drastically altered countries' relationships and the course of history. Austria declared war against Germany, which brought in two alliances, the Allied forces and the Central Powers. The Allied war effort was composed of Britain, France, Russia, Italy, and the United States. Germany, Austria, Hungary, the Ottoman Empire, and Bulgaria made up the Central Powers. Although Russia was highly unprepared, Nicholas II still decided to bring Russia into the war. Russia suffered the most casualties in World War I in comparison to other countries because industrialized Germany was far more powerful than sovereign Russia. More than 4 million Russian soldiers were wounded, captured, and killed due to poor military leadership and Tsarist rule. The soldiers revolted and disobeyed orders even after Nicholas II himself moved into the front lines to raise morale. 
Back home, the food and fuel were becoming scarce and the prices were inflating. Due to the expenses of the pricey war effort, Russia's economy plummeted. By 1917, the majority of Russians did not have faith in the Tsar Nicholas II, who continuously suspended the Duma whenever it went against what he wanted. These were all major driving forces of the February Revolution. February 23rd or March 8th by the Gregorian calendar marked the beginning of a revolution in Russia, the February Revolution of 1917. On this day in Petrograd, the former capital of Russia that is now known as St. Petersburg, riots regarding the food and fuel shortage erupted. Hundreds of thousands of workers revolted and flocked to the streets to voice their concerns regarding the autocracy, war, and food and fuel scarcity. Women textile workers were the leaders of this massive strike. Initially, soldiers obeyed orders to fire at the protesters, but then joined their side and rebelled. During the February Revolution, a century of protest unfurled, causing Nicholas to abdicate his throne, leaving the country without a government. The Duma established a provisional government after the end of the Tsarist regime. Revolutionaries executed Nicholas and his family a year later. Workers in St. Petersburg, named at the time Petrograd, began striking against labor conditions and then eventually against the Tsar in general. Nicholas sent in troops to quell the riots, however his army mutinied against him and joined the protesters. On his way back from the Eastern Front, the Tsar's train was stopped and captured by rogue Russian troops. Nicholas abdicated his throne, and with nobody to take the throne, the age of the Tsars effectively ended. After the February Revolution, the Bolsheviks occupied government-sanctioned establishments where they soon formed a new government in which Lenin was in charge. Vladimir Len Lenin, a socialist leader, rose to power as Nicholas's power weakened. The last Russian Tsar resulted in the end of the Russian Empire and the rise of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. The new government established by Lenin pulled Russia out of the war and signed a treaty with Germany as well as surrendering valued territory. Bolsheviks planned their leader's return, Vladimir Lenin, and rapidly overtook the feeble government set up in the place of the Tsars. In the Bolshevik Revolution, the provisional government was opposed by those who wanted to gain the right of deciding for themselves. When Lenin arrived from exile in the spring of 1917, his goal was to defeat and conquer the provisional government and implement their own government. A major contribution to the Bolsheviks' uprising was the provisional government's dismissal of the soldiers and peasants' request to distribute the land between the soldiers and peasants equally. Once Lenin joined the Bolshevik party and became virtual dictator, he made peace with Germany by distributing land and nationalizing their industry. After the Bolshevik Red Guards raided the government offices and apprehended the leaders of the provisional government. Shortly after, Lenin had convinced the soldiers, peasants, and the workers to defy the provisional government and fight for their right to seize land and power. In July 1917, the Bolshevik party challenged the provisional government and gained nothing but a failed attempt. Their leader was jailed and Lenin fled into hiding like a coward. After the revolution, Russia shifted in economics, social structure, culture, and of course, international affairs. The new government established by Lenin immediately pulled Russia out of the war, greatly affecting the reactions of Russia's allies and imbalancing the forces on the battlefield. Russia turned into the first communist-based government, the USSR, which pointed the country to a new direction when people from the working class and scholars obtained power in the Russian government. This new communist government changed the 1300-year society of Russia from economy to social structure and funded several international revolutions to achieve communism and socialism, such as Korea and China. Even without Russia, a major component of the Allied forces, the Allies remained victorious. Lenin's decision to take Russia out of the war brought him a degree of favor in the hearts of Russians. With his Bolshevik supporters, he was able to usurp control of Russia and realize his socialist ideals. Russia's government took a massive turn from an empire to a socialist republic, which still stands strong today.